Welcome to the sixth episode of Unveiling the Darkness. Ivan Milat, please help us grow by subscribing our channel Thread Tonic. Milat's life was marked by darkness and tragedy, his childhood providing a glimpse into the disturbing mindset that would later lead to a string of heinous crimes. Born on December 27, 1944, in Guildford, a suburb of Sydney, Australia, Milat grew up in a household tainted by violence and dysfunction. His parents, Stephen and Margaret Mila, were Croatian immigrants who struggled with poverty and alcoholism. Milat's upbringing was chaotic, characterized by frequent arguments and physical abuse. He was one of 14 children, and the crowded household only exacerbated the tense atmosphere. Despite these challenges, Milat was described as a quiet and introverted child, often retreating into his own world to escape the turmoil around him. As Milat entered adolescence, his troubled home life began to take its toll on his mental health. He struggled in school, unable to concentrate or form meaningful connections with his peers. His isolation only deepened as he grew older, and he became increasingly disconnected from society. By his late teens, Milat's behavior had become increasingly erratic, and he found himself in trouble with the law on multiple occasions. He drifted from job to job, unable to hold down steady employment, and his relationships with family members deteriorated further. It was during this tumultuous period that Milat's dark fantasies began to take shape. He became fixated on the idea of exerting power and control over others, harboring violent impulses that he struggled to contain. His fascination with the wilderness and survivalism also grew, providing him with an outlet for his aggression and a sense of empowerment. In the late 1980s, Milat's twisted desires manifested in a series of brutal murders that would shock the nation. Between 1989 and 1992, he preyed on unsuspecting backpackers traveling through the Belanglo State Forest in New South Wales. Milot would lure his victims into the forest under the guise of offering them a ride or assistance, only to subject them to unspeakable horrors. His victims, mostly young travelers from abroad, were subjected to torture, sexual assault, and ultimately murder. Milat's crimes were marked by a sadistic brutality, with evidence suggesting that he derived pleasure from inflicting pain and suffering on his victims. The lives of seven innocent backpackers, each with their own hopes, dreams, and stories. These individuals, whose lives were tragically cut short by Milat's brutality, are remembered not only as victims, but as vibrant individuals whose lives were extinguished far too soon. Deborah Everest, 19. In late 1989, Deborah, a young adventurer from Victoria, Australia, tragically lost her life alongside her friend James Gibson when they encountered Milat in the Belanglo State Forest. James Gibson, 19. Also in late 1989, James, Deborah's companion in adventure, met a similar fate to hers, succumbing to Milat's violence during their ill fated journey through the Australian wilderness. Simone Schmiedel, 21. During her solo exploration of Australia in December 1991, Simone, a spirited German backpacker, met her untimely end in the Belanglo State Forest, becoming a victim of Mila's heinous crimes. Gabor Neugebauer, 21. In December 1991, Gabor, a young traveler from Germany, faced tragedy when he crossed paths with Mila during his journey of self-discovery in the Australian wilderness. Anya Habshid, 20. During her exploration of Australia in January 1992, Anya, a solo traveler from Germany, met a grim fate in the Belanglo State Forest, where she fell victim to Milat's brutality. Clark, 21. In January 1992, Caroline, a courageous British backpacker, encountered Mila in the desolate expanses of the Belanglo State Forest, where her adventurous spirit was tragically extinguished. Joanne Walters, 22. In April 1992, Joanne, a spirited backpacker from the UK, met her end in the Belanglo State Forest, becoming another victim of Milat's ruthless violence during her exploration of Australia's wilderness. 
These seven victims of Ivan Milat's crimes were bright, adventurous individuals whose lives were tragically cut short by senseless acts of violence. Their memories live on in the hearts of those who knew and loved them, serving as a reminder of the preciousness of life and the importance of cherishing each moment. Despite his efforts to cover his tracks, Milat was eventually apprehended by authorities in 1994, thanks to the diligent work of investigators and a breakthrough in forensic evidence. In 1996, he was convicted of the murders of seven backpackers and sentenced to seven consecutive life terms in prison. Even behind bars, Milat remained unrepentant, showing no remorse for his actions and continuing to maintain his innocence. He became a symbol of pure evil, a man whose depravity knew no bounds. In 2019, even Milat's reign of terror finally came to an end when he succumbed to terminal esophageal cancer at the age of 74. His death marked the end of a dark chapter in Australian history, but the scars left by his crimes continue to haunt the collective consciousness, serving as a chilling reminder of the capacity for human cruelty.